right, so in today's video, we're gonna be throwing it back to the DM56 once again here in Modern Warfare 3. Overall, my setup is going to be very similar from my previous ones, but I did make some minor changes to not only increase your damage range, but also help you when it comes down to recoil control and mobility. So I think just all around, I've found a way to just absolutely improve the weapon as a whole. It reminds me a lot of the DMR from Black Ops Cold War with, of course, it's got a much lower damage value, but it still has a similar feel with that very fast fire rate. Let's get into it. Starting us off here with an optic. I said this in my last video. I really like running this 2.5X optic because this is a weapon that you're not gonna be super, super aggressive with. It's gonna be a weapon you target more medium and long range fights with. So I do like to have that little bit of magnification there. And 2.5X is just my personal preference. If there's one that you enjoy more, a different optic altogether, you can run that. For the stock, you're gonna want the Holger recoil pad for gun kick control and recoil control. You are gonna lose a tiny, tiny bit of aim down sight speed at 3%, but like I just said, it's not a weapon you're getting up close and personal with people with, so the 3% loss is not a big deal whatsoever. You get 9% to the gun kick, 14% to the vertical and horizontal recoil control there. For an ammunition type, we are going with the high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range with the increase of 15% across the board. We are sacrificing a bit of recoil control. Nothing too crazy, in my opinion. It is a semi-auto, and it doesn't seem to kick very hard. Just my personal preference. It's not an attachment you have to run, but I did want to increase my damage range, whereas in the last build, I didn't touch it at all. I didn't run a barrel. I didn't run an ammunition type. So I wanted to give this a try, and it definitely did a better job. Another change here is the underbarrel with the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip. So not only are we getting recoil control, but we are also getting aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And this targets what I was saying as far as the aggression or the movement and aim down sight speed of the weapon goes. We have 7% to the gun kick control, 8% to the vertical recoil control, along with 5% there to the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, where before I was going with the Kim Kimura Rin 03, we are sacrificing aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. You get a bit more recoil control there, but this in this particular case, we are gaining a kind of a little bit of everything. In our final attachment is the Shadow Strike Suppressor. I did run this one in the last build. I like to stay off of the minimap when I'm running the slower paced weapons, keeping my distance from people because it makes me much harder to track down, especially because I'm not on the minimap. If you guys want a little bit of recoil control, you can go with the Monolithic Suppressor here, but keep in mind, you are going to slow down your weapon just a little bit in the aim down sight speed category. The Shadow Strike seems to do the best job for me, but like I said, you want some recoil control, chuck on the Monolithic there. I've gotten some very mixed reviews regarding the DM56 here in Modern Warfare three i want to know where you guys stand are you guys a fan of the dm56 do you not really care or do you think the thing absolutely sucks personally i love using this weapon and honestly it's my favorite marksman rifle in the game just because it reminds me of that fast firing dmr as always there's my whole loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to copy that down make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always we're going to jump over into a couple of gameplays to feature my brand new dm56 setup Hope you guys enjoy. So I have like a glitched blueprint here. I promise you I'm not running a bipod, but there's a bipod on my gun. And we got the DM-56. Last time I covered this weapon, people seem to really enjoy it. It's more or less the, uh, the same setup as last time. I don't think I changed anything, but I also haven't covered it in such a long time. I'm not 100% on that. We'll see. There's a guy in the door right there, but I can't do anything about it. And I'm not using a close range weapon. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, the so there's a guy over here as well. We've the lead. Got him. Take Gotta lock in that swarm. Invasion's a very good swarm map. The biggest problem I have with, honestly, hardpoint with a weapon like this one is. It's not a close range weapon. So sometimes you actually run into, whoa, what the heck was that? You run into some situations where it's very, uh, it's very difficult for me to get into some of these gunfights. If I get too close range, I'm in danger. You know what I mean? So I have to play like more passively than I normally like to. I don't know how those bullets didn't connect. Okay, I'm confused. My bullets aren't connecting. Oh, I'm on 60 ping. What? Not exactly sure why or how I'm on 60 ping, but we are. Throwing 
All right, let's uh, change our approach here. Let's let's watch this way. Make sure no one's hitting our middle. Doesn't look like it. I don't know why he's there. That should be our opportunity to give a good push here. The enemy's taking the lead. There's a sniper back there, and we have a guy literally on this head glitch right there. Oh, trophy system, of course. I'm alone. Get your head in the game, Kate. If I wasn't alone there, I take that every day of the week. Alright, advanced UAV's in, I gotta go. Let's hit that. Wait. Okay, these spawns are confusing. These spawns are confusing. They don't really make sense. I'm also not running a swarm. You gonna keep challenging me? Okay. You gonna do it again? Looks like the spawns have finally flipped. I don't I don't know how or why. They stayed like this. But we're gonna hit, we're gonna get out of here. I just saw one. Peace. I haven't nuked this map on the new patch. I want to push this, but I can't. Not with the weapon I'm using. Who stunned me? Wait, they're on me. This UAV is big, but uh, dude, I'm struggling to understand what a lot of these spawns are doing. This is not an easy map to nuke. There's so many places you can get shot from. What's even a bigger L is that I'm not running the swarm because I would have just gone for kills in this particular case. But because of uh, because I'm not running the swarm, I think it's more beneficial for me to go for a nuke for gameplay perspective. I can't see who's shooting him. Okay, let's slide. Twenty nine. I'm not playing fast, but not really a weapon you play fast with. He almost had me. I think he tweaked because there was the whole team pushing that. Well, actually, this is interesting information. You can wall bang this. Hey, you can wall bang that apparently. Check your fire. I need bags. 
I'm eating. I am eating, and that is a head glitch from hell. He's got an MCW. I have a DM50. What? This, this hill needs some work. This hill, sp this spawns need some work because I'm spawning with them. Let's, uh, we're only at 42. Let's try to at least lock in 50. I definitely think that's probable and possible. What are people annoyed by, brother? Let me know. I don't think I've died to that neon guy yet. He's got a gold MCW. I bet he doesn't use a different weapon either. I think he's still up there. Got him. We are split spawn right now. Good kill. I need one kill for, for 50 here. It's a lot of editing. Who you drop shotting, brother? I literally need one kill. Let me get my one damn kill. I'm just probably just gonna have to call the nuke though. I got it. MGB strike. Send it. Enemies inside the perimeter. Changing mags. Hard point relocated. Long shot. And a W. We take those. Definitely not my fastest pace game, but it is invasion after all. Dude, my face cam shut off. I just realized right now. Bang. I don't know how the DM56 is going to perform on a map like this, but it popped up in Vista. It's just a map that I enjoy playing, so I guess it can't be that bad, right? I don't know, man. We're going to find out. That's for dang sure. But again, I don't... See, if I get in close range engagements, I'm 100% in trouble. So I'm going to do my best to try to avoid that at all costs. So they smoked out. So it means they're probably there. And that's what I died to. I haven't died to one of those in a long time, but they don't get less annoying. And oh my goodness. I think that's all I'm going to die to this game. We have some hill kittens on the other team and it's not like I'm not trying to go to the hill. You can see I am very much playing all around this objective. They probably rotated. I'm dead. Not dead. Now I'm dead. Okay. We got to focus on the next hill. Dude, how the died of that crap? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to put on EOD at this point. All right, EOD's on. I'm done dying to that crap, dude. Holy crap. They're even rotating. There's one. Yep, rotating. Get your ass back here. Bet you thought I was going to let you. That's a choke. Yeah, that's a choke. 
We're holding some good time here. I'm gonna go on the ground. Good shots. I'm gonna start watching behind me. All right, so we got an XL. Isn't that crazy? Have I, have I died to a weapon yet? Like, actually, I'm really curious about that. Like, has it only been those drones? Actually, no, I definitely have died to a weapon. Tossing sticky grenade. Oh, Longbow? No, I'm teasing interceptor. I was gonna say. They tagged me. Oh, I shot at that time. It's probably my first kill with that thing ever. We got an advance. That's definitely helpful. Can you be on top of the bridge? I don't think so. Oh, they got the whole setup. Swarms in. And battle pass token. We like that. Thank you. Thank you. That's a miraculous comeback from the squad. We've done work. I, I got it. Yep, they're spawning here. I don't think they're coming this way. Somehow are brutal. From the rocky start I had, I'm actually surprised I'm on a brutal. Do I go for the nuke is the question. The answer is no, because I am dead. They can hold this though, and we're gonna win this game. I'm only at 35? Really? Oh, this has only been, this has been a quick game. Holy crap. If you're wondering where this looked, I'm looking at my recording time and it doesn't. <sighs> Well, this game's gonna end. I mean, the swarm basically locked in the win at that point, but. Not my most impressive stuff, but a dub is a dub. Oh, they rotated at least, so not over, over. Not over. Oh, now it's definitely over. Yeah, she's over. Well, GG's, I guess. I mean, that's... I even get 100 kills in this video? This one was quick, though. Like, this was like a seven-minute recording. That, that flew by.